Hey everyone, welcome to today's extreme long cleaning video. I have jam packed this cleaning video with two days worth of cleaning and hours upon hours of cleaning. This is a long one. If you need extreme cleaning motivation, you are in the right place. I am Becca, if you're new. I'm a single mom of three boys and I always keep my cleaning videos realistic, real life cleaning, motherhood kind of content. So if you like that type of you know, video, I hope you choose to stick around and I hope you subscribe. We have so much to get done. This was almost a whole house clean with me. I had people over, there were a lot of messes everywhere. I had children over, so we had a lot to clean up, a lot of mopping to do, deep cleaning, and all of the things. As you can see, we are starting off in my entryway. I had some toys that were kind of like scattered throughout because like I had said, the day before this, I had had dinner at my house. If you're new here, I usually host dinner at my house once a week or once every other week, but me and my group of girlfriends, we usually host dinner at each other's houses throughout the week just to kind of like make it a little bit easier on us. Some of us are single, some of us have husbands that travel. So we just kind of come together and kind of like just mom together <laughs> and try to make it easier. So this week I had had the girls over at my house. So with all of the kids and everybody over, of course the house could use a really good deep clean. So we are going to pick up all of the toys and clean up the whole mess and really mop these floors. And I also wanna say before we go too deep in this video, this is the Dreamy Text vac mop i love this thing it's amazing i seriously love this product i always link everything in the description box down below that i use in my videos so it's continuously changing because i cater it to whatever's in the video so if there's like a piece of furniture that you see in the video or a rug or a product i'm using if it's linkable i will have it linked in the description box down below but also feel free to ask if you want a direct link from me i can also do that as well i don't mind sometimes it takes me a little bit to get back to comments so if it takes a few days i'm sorry but if you are like me and you're impatient and you want it and you want it now it'll always be in the description box if i have a link for it Whenever I mop, I try to move absolutely everything I possibly can out of the way. 
I feel like this is something probably everybody does, right? Like you move all the little nooks and crannies and like little tables and everything like that, right? Or is it just me that does that? Do most people like just mop around things or do you like move everything like I do? I feel like if I'm, if I'm doing it, I'm going all the way. <laughs> I'm going all the way, I'm getting everything clean, especially when it comes to like, it being around the kids stuff because they are the messiest beings in my house. So I really wanna make sure whatever they're touching, wherever they're at, wherever they're, you know, causing little messes that I get everything, especially that little table because they love eating at that little table. So a lot of the times there's like crumbs and food and all of that kind of stuff. So you best believe I'm gonna get under that table and I'm gonna move it so I can really thoroughly clean the floor over there. All right guys, once and for all, I'm gonna say this one last time, but I'm actually gonna hold myself accountable to this. This weekend, I am going to redo this table. I'm gonna start it at least. I Obviously it's not gonna be like a overnight process, but I'm gonna start it and see if I can get all the paint off of it and then maybe bleach it and really get it down to its natural state. I know getting all the paint off of it is gonna be a pain. It's gonna be such a pain, but I'm excited to try it because I've been wanting to try this method for so long. And there's other pieces of furniture I wanna do it to in my house. Uh, so I'm gonna try it this weekend and I'm gonna hold myself accountable to it because my girlfriends, a few of them are gonna be out of town and there isn't really much going on this weekend. so. I think I'll just have some time to be able to dedicate to actually working on these DIYs. I'm also gonna work on the floating shelves for the playroom. I'm gonna just go to Lowe's and get everything I need and start working on all these projects and really dedicate my weekend to working on that stuff and staying home and really doing it. I don't know about you, but it's really hard on the weekends not to do like things with my friends or family activities or, you know, it's that's like my downtime and my off time. So sometimes I just don't have the drive to want to work on those things because I work so much during the week. And I love those things. Those are like my passion projects and my hobbies, but sometimes I just, you know. And then of course, I'm such an easy like person who gets sucked into everything. And my friends will be like, we're out doing this. Don't you want to come? And then of course I'm like peer pressured and I'm like, yes, I'll be there. So this weekend, most of my friends are busy. So I'm gonna at least start working on this stuff.
Moving on to the kitchen, which is definitely the messiest part of my house because this is where like I make all the meals. We honestly usually mean the girls will like sit at the island and I actually probably should invest in some more island chairs to be honest, but we'll sit at the island and chat and have a few drinks and just hang out and let the kids play and everything. So usually this is where most of the mess is aside from like obviously toys being, you know, about everywhere from the kids, but I made this so good crock pot meal when the girls were at the house and i actually did a shop with me aldi haul on my other channel on my vlogging channel i will link the video down below and i made this recipe in that video so i shared the recipe i got it off of tiktok and oh my goodness it was delicious i will a hundred percent be making this meal again it was so easy and it was so good it was so good, but I just figured I would let you know because I know y'all love a good recipe. So if you are curious for a new easy crock pot recipe, go ahead and go over there and uh, click on that video, watch it. It's at the end. If you don't want to watch the haul, that's fine. It's at the end of the, well, it's kind of mid video and then you see the finished product at the end. However, it was just so delicious. And it's like a potatoes and chicken type of meal. And then we also paired it with a salad. So you're getting your vegetable as well. And obviously like salads are so easy to make. You throw some salad in a bowl. So such an easy meal.
How is everybody doing today? Is everybody having a wonderful week? I'd love to hear how you have been and what maybe you've been up to. Do you have anything exciting going on? Are you working on any DIYs or projects? I love hearing about that kind of stuff. Uh, I am so excited because the weather here is starting to get warm again and I love the warm weather. I love being able to take the golf cart everywhere and I love being able to like just sit outside and hang out and I just love it. So the weather has been really great the last probably like week. It's been totally tolerable, like still a little chilly some days, but not too bad. And I'm just so ready for the warm weather. Also signed the boys up for sports. So life is about to get even crazier than it even is right now, which is, I didn't even know that was possible, but it's about to get that way. I'm excited though, because this is the first time that Tristan is old enough to play sports and he's going to be playing t-ball and I just cannot wait. I'm so excited to watch him because he is already like pretty athletic. Out of all of my kids, he's the most athletic. He gets the most into it. Like he's not like scared of getting hurt or anything. He's kind of a brute. So I'm really excited to kind of see what he's got and to see the excitement on his face because he's been asking for so long to play sports and finally he's the right age. So I know he's going to be so excited. Before we start mopping the floors, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all of the appliances because it has been a really long time and my fridge was starting to look real ratchet. So we're gonna get it wiped down. You know, these kids, they leave their fingerprints everywhere and you know, I have a few of them. So on top of the fact of having other kids over and then my own kids alone, there's always fingerprints everywhere. If I wanted to like literally never have fingerprints on my appliances, I would just have to wipe them down every single day. And even then it still wouldn't be perfect. So once a week is gonna be good enough because I don't have the energy or the time to be a perfectionist like that. So, you know, you come to my house, you get the real life and there's fingerprints all over everything. And that just is what it is.
I have really been wanting to paint this island black. I really, what I really wanted to do is I want to paint this island black. I want to change all of my hardware out for like a gold, but like a aged gold, not like the bright gold. And I would love to box in the vent with like wood and paint that black to kind of tie it all in together. That's what I would love to do. I would love to do. You'll have to let me know if you think that's a great idea. Cause I worry that if I decide to sell the house that it might not be everybody's style. It might be a deterrent, but I really just, I feel like I love, don't get me wrong. I love the white and the gray, but I feel like the gray is too light and I really just want a pop of color. Uh, I would love to just paint this dark to kind of put that color out there. I thought about painting it the green color that I did the shiplap in like the dining area, but I, I kind of want, like I want to change it up a little bit. I don't want everything to be green. So I was thinking about painting the island, this island black and then the other island, leave the cabinets white, but the back side that like faces the dining room, paint that wall black. So you'll have to let me know what you think. Moving on to the back hallway, which between myself and my children is always a disaster because I leave 10,000 shoes downstairs when they really belong upstairs and my kids kind of just drop their stuff. Not really completely their fault because my kids aren't quite tall enough to reach the hooks. Grayson is getting there, like he can kind of reach them, but Tristan cannot reach them. Uh, and I'm not gonna encourage them to climb on the bench to try and reach them. So a lot of the times they kind of just drop them there because they can't do anything else with them. But this area is always a mess, but as you can tell, it doesn't take long to clean up, so. This is the next day and I really needed to focus on my room and my bathroom because they both are just complete disasters. First off, my sheets desperately needed to be washed. So we're gonna go ahead and get those going before we do anything else. But wait till y'all see my bathroom, it's bad. My kids have really been, they really like to shower in my shower, which is fine. It's not a big deal. However, by the end of the night, everybody is so tired that nobody's picking up anything. Like, honestly, we usually shower at the very end of the night. I don't feel like it, you know, with little kids, it's a constant like, pick up your clothes, pick up your towel, pick up this, pick up that, do this, do that. You know, you kind of have to redirect, especially my kids, because my kids are hyper and they're all over the place. They're so easily distracted. So it's like, they're not trying to be defiant, but I'll be like, pick this up. They'll pick it up and then, you know, they'll come back and then I'll have to tell them to do something else. Cause if I tell them all at once, <laughs> no way they're gonna remember. So sometimes I'm just like, you know what? Leave your clothes on the bathroom floor. We'll do it tomorrow. Leave the towel on the bathroom floor. It needs to be washed anyways. Cause at the end of the day, I choose my battles and some days they're worth it and some days they're not. And most of the time I will have them come back like the next morning and pick up their stuff. 
However, for the sake of the video, I figured I would just do it <laughs> to use it as content. And we ride on the flames till the morning light Baby, cause we're dynamite Ain't nobody gonna hold us down We call the rules, let them run and hide Baby, cause we're dynamite Gonna let the world know As far as my bathroom mirror, I've gotten a few questions about what I use to clean my bathroom mirror. And honestly, I just use a damp microfiber cloth. Uh, I don't use like a cleaning product on it or a cleaning agent or anything. I've done this for years and it just works great. It gets everything off of it. It is, uh, it doesn't leave any streaks or anything like that. So I usually just go ahead and use uh, that works great. So I don't use a product on it, so I can't share a product that I use because I don't use one. If I eventually decide to stay in this house, one of the other things that I would love to do is paint these vanities black as well. And I would love to do a like, uh, not bronze, a gold like faucet. And I would probably try and paint the mirror, like the edges of the mirrors, like gold, that same gold color as well. Just something I would love to do and use the same hardware of like gold hardware that I, you know, exchange the downstairs with, with, you know, exchange it upstairs. Just things that I've thought about, ways I want to change it up and just a different style, something new. My, you know, when we built this house, you know, I love, don't get me wrong, I love how everything looks in my house and I love at the time when we built it, I loved this style. I loved the gray tones, the pole handles. I still love them. I just wish they were gold. However, it, my style has just changed. We've had this house now for almost four years. And in the last four years, my style has just changed. I'm evolving. So really, I don't hate it. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't hate it. However, I've just evolved. My style has changed. And I would just love to like change it up a bit. Get this right, 
felt this in a while now. So sad when we are apart. If you leave, you break my heart. I need you to need me too. Stay with me when it's getting dark. Hold me tight, close in your arms. I want Just be honest Why is it so hard to speak the truth? Why is it so hard to just be honest When I want this, maybe you want it too Before I can switch the clothes and the wash or the blankets in the wash, I've got to take the boys' clothes out of the dryer. I have had their clothes in the dryer for like the last day, so we're gonna get those out and we're going to get everything switched. My laundry room is a little bit of a mess, but we're gonna get that cleaned up today. Why is it so hard to be? Why, why is it so hard to be honest? To be honest. Why is it so hard to be? Why, why is it so hard to be honest? To be honest. Why is it so hard to just be honest? Why is it so hard to speak the truth? Why is it so hard to just be honest when I want this? Maybe you want it too. So I just need to tell you. And of course, before I finish up in my room, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick vacuum. I've been vacuuming my room on like the boost mode, which I typically don't use very often just because it will kill the battery really fast. And usually I don't feel like I need it to be honest, but there's a lot of dog hair in my room because this is where Lola hangs out and this is pretty much where she lives. Granted, there's a lot of dog hair probably downstairs too, but I have hardwood floors downstairs, so it just doesn't stick in the carpet the same way. But when she's upstairs, this is where she is. She's not in the boys' room. She's not in the playroom. She's not. She's typically hanging out with me in my room when she is upstairs. So, and her hair is just so like coarse and it sticks to the carpet. So I find that if I vacuum my room on boost mode, it just really picks up all of that dog hair. So. That's why you're gonna see strong vacuum lines, but who doesn't love a good vacuum line?
There were a lot of clothes in my closet. Like I had this really massive pile of shirts and sweaters and pants that needed to be hung up. So we're gonna take care of that. I'm really guilty of doing that. I will, this, I don't know what it is. I don't mind sitting on my bed and folding clothes, but when I have to actually like hang them up, I hate doing it. I just hate doing it. So a lot of the times I'll just like toss it in there because it'll usually be like the end of the night that I'm folding clothes. I'm tired, it's the end of the day. And I'm like, oh, I'll toss it right here and I'll do it later. I never do. I, it ends up piling up or I'm like, where are these pants at? Like I haven't worn them in like a month. They have to be somewhere. And then I'm like, oh, probably in this pile of stuff. So we're gonna take care of this pile of stuff today. And of course, since we're in here cleaning up, I might as well give the closet a quick vacuum. I've said before in my more recent videos, I'm trying to vacuum my closet more because I don't do it nearly enough. So, you know, we're already in here. The vacuum's already out. Might as well give it a quick vacuum. I'm so sorry about this part of the video. For some reason, I thought that I was in focus, like how I was folding, I was in like, it was in the camera frame. It's slightly as obviously, you can still see what I'm doing. I'm just folding the microfiber cloths, but I really thought that I was within frame. So I went ahead and folded them. And then when I was editing this, I was like, well, I was just off so slightly. <laughs> so sorry about that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fold the boys clothes, get that stuff put away and taken care of. I just needed to get all this stuff, like once something comes out of the dryer, like that's it, I need to fold it, I need to take care of it because I don't need to be doing things like piling microfiber cloths on top of my dryer. And if, you know, if I continue doing that, it's just gonna be piles of clean clothes everywhere and clean things everywhere. So I really try to stay on top of things as they come out of the dryer and just clean them up, take the time. So. We're gonna fold the boys' clothes and get that stuff all done.
Now that the sheets are all clean, we're gonna go ahead and put my bed back together. I swear there is no better feeling than getting clean sheets on your bed, taking a long hot shower, and then climbing in your bed all clean, your bed's clean, everything's clean. It just, it's a wonderful feeling. It's probably like one of my most refreshing feelings. I love it. So let's get this bed put back together. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for just taking the time out of your day and your busy schedule to support my channel and watch my video. I know obviously you get some type of value from it too. That's why you like watching these cleaning motivation videos because they're motivational. However, there are so many that you could be watching but you chose to be here and that means the world to me. So thank you so much for your love, your support, your encouragement and just being here. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.